Mesothelioma is a type of cancer that develops from the thin layer of tissue that covers many of the internal organs, known as the mesothelium. The most common area affected is the lining of the lungs and chest wall. Less commonly the lining of the abdomen and rarely the sacs surrounding the heart, or the sacs surrounding the testis may be affected. Signs and symptoms of mesothelioma may include shortness of breath due to fluid around the lung and weight loss. Mesothelioma is a type of cancer that A pleural mesothelioma Symptoms or signs of mesothelioma may not appear until 20 to 50 years, or more, after exposure to asbestos. Shortness of breath cough, and pain in the chest due to an accumulation of fluid in the pleural space, pleural effusion, are often symptoms of pleural mesothelioma. Mesothelioma that affects the pleura can cause these signs and symptoms. Generally, a biopsy is needed to confirm a diagnosis of malignant mesothelioma. A doctor removes a sample of tissue for examination under a microscope by a pathologist. A biopsy may be done in different ways, depending on where the abnormal area is located. If the cancer is in the chest, the doctor may perform a thoracoscopy. In this procedure, the doctor makes a small cut through the chest wall and puts a thin, lighted tube called a thoracoscope into the chest between two ribs. Thoracoscopy allows the doctor to look inside the chest and obtain tissue samples. Alternatively, the chest surgeon might directly open the chest, thoracotomy. If the cancer is in the abdomen, the doctor may perform a laparoscopy. <music> 7. Peritoneal mesothelioma The most common symptoms of peritoneal mesothelioma are abdominal swelling and pain due to ascites. Other features may include weight loss, fever, night sweats, poor appetite, vomiting, constipation, and umbilical hernia. If the cancer has spread beyond the mesothelium to other parts of the body, symptoms may include pain, trouble swallowing, or swelling of the neck or face. Thought these symptoms may be caused by mesothelioma or by other, less serious conditions. Immunohistochemical studies play an important role for the pathologist in differentiating malignant mesothelioma from neoplastic mimics. 7. Peritoneal mesothelioma <music> 6. Asbestos The incidence of mesothelioma has been found to be higher in populations living near naturally occurring asbestos. People can be exposed to naturally occurring asbestos in areas where mining or road construction is occurring, or when the asbestos-containing rock is naturally weathered. Another common route of exposure is through asbestos-containing soil, which is used to whitewash, plaster, and roof houses in Greece. 12. In central Cappadocia, Turkey Mesothelioma was causing 50% of all deaths in three small villages Tuzkoi, Karain, and Sar. H. The D. R. Initially, this was attributed to urinite. Environmental exposure to asbestos has caused mesothelioma in places other than Turkey, including Corsica, Greece, Cyprus, China, and California. In the northern Greek mountain town of Mitsovo, this exposure had resulted in mesothelioma incidents around 300 times more than expected in asbestos-free populations, and was associated with very frequent pleural calcification known as metsova lung. The documented presence of asbestos fibers in water supplies and food products has fostered concerns about the possible impact of long-term and, as yet, unknown exposure of the general population to these fibers. Exposure to talc is also a risk factor for mesothelioma. Exposure can affect those who live near talc mines, work in talc mines, or work in talc mills. In the United States, asbestos is considered the major cause of malignant mesothelioma and has been considered indisputably associated with the development of mesothelioma. 6. Asbestos
5 Occupational Exposure to asbestos fibers has been recognized as an occupational health hazard since the early 20th century. Numerous epidemiological studies have associated occupational exposure to asbestos with the development of pleural plaques, diffuse pleural thickening, asbestosis, carcinoma of the lung and larynx, gastrointestinal tumors, and diffuse malignant mesothelioma of the pleura and peritoneum. Asbestos has been widely used in many industrial products, including cement, brake linings, gaskets, roof shingles, flooring products, textiles, and insulation. Commercial asbestos mining at Whitmoom, Western Australia, took place from 1937 to 1966. The first case of mesothelioma in the town occurred in 1960. The second case was in 1969, and new cases began to appear more frequently thereafter. The lag time between initial exposure to asbestos For systemic. The mesothelium consists of a single layer of flattened to cuboidal cells forming the epithelial lining of the serous cavities of the body including the peritoneal, pericardial and pleural cavities. The position of asbestos fibers in the parenchyma of the lung may result in the penetration of the visceral pleura from where the fiber can then be carried to the pleural surface, thus leading to the development of malignant mesothelial plaques. The processes leading to the development of peritoneal mesothelioma remain unresolved, although it has been proposed that asbestos fibers from the lung are transported to the abdomen and associated organs via the lymphatic system. Additionally, asbestos fibers may be deposited in the gut after ingestion of sputum contaminated with asbestos fibers. However, there is no evidence that smaller particles may be more dangerous than the large intracellular analysis of the interactions between asbestos fibers and DNA has shown that phagocytosed fibers are able to make contact with chromosomes often adhering to the chromatin fibers or becoming entangled within the chromosome this contact between the asbestos fiber and the chromosomes or structural proteins of the spindle apparatus can induce complex abnormalities the most common abnormality is monosomia chromosome 22. Other frequent abnormalities include structural rearrangement of 1p, 3p, 9p and 6q chromosome arms. Cetacean needed. Several genes are commonly mutated in mesothelioma, and may be prognostic factors. These include epidermal growth factor receptor, EGFR, and CMET receptor tyrosine kinases which are overexpressed in many mesotheliomas. Some association has been found with EGFR and epithelioid histology but no clear association has been found between EGFR overexpression and overall survival. Pleural contamination with asbestos or other mineral fibers has been shown to immune system. Asbestos fibers have been shown to alter the function and secretory properties of macrophages, ultimately creating conditions which favor the development of mesothelioma. Following asbestos phagocytosis, macrophages generate increased amounts of hydroxyl radicals, which are normal byproducts of cellular anaerobic metabolism. However, these free radicals are also known clastogenic, chromosome breaking, and membrane active agents thought to promote asbestos carcinogenicity. These oxidants can participate in the oncogenic process by directly and indirectly interacting with DNA, modifying membrane associated cellular events, including oncogene activation and perturbation of cellular antioxidant defenses. Cetacean needed. Asbestos also may possess immunosuppressive properties. For example, chrysotel fibers have been shown to depress the in vitro proliferation of phytoamaglutinin-stimulated peripheral blood lymphocytes, 
suppressed natural killer cell lysis and significantly reduced lymphokine activated killer cell viability and recovery. Furthermore, genetic alterations in asbestos activated macrophages may result in the release of One imaging. Diagnosing mesothelioma is often difficult because the symptoms are similar to those of a number of other conditions. Diagnosis begins with the review of the patient's medical history. A history of exposure to asbestos may increase clinical suspicion for mesothelioma. A physical examination is performed, followed by chest X-ray and often lung function tests. A CT scan or an MRI is usually performed. If a large amount of fluid is present, abnormal cells may be detected by cytopathology if this fluid is aspirated with a syringe. For pleural fluid, this is done by thoracentesis or tube thoracostomy, for acetes, with paracentesis or acidic drain, and for pericardial effusion with pericardiocentesis. While absence of malignant cells on cytology does not completely exclude mesothelioma, it makes it much more unlikely, especially if an alternative diagnosis can be made. However, with primary pericardial mesothelioma, Welcome to the City of Freedom. If you like the video, you can subscribe to it by clicking on the bell button next to send me notifications.